Good morning, my beautiful collective. I hope you have a wonderful day. How you bitches doing today? Oh my fucking God. Guys, I just got done doing a beautiful fucking reading. Guess what? We never hit record. I know almost for damn certain that I fucking hit record, okay? So that tells me that was not meant to get out. That Peter Cetera song, Glory of Love. I can tell you this much. There's 50 of you out there who someone, someone is fighting for your honor. What I can tell you, yeah, I didn't shuffle the decks. Can I show them that? Okay. Since you don't get the full spread, I am going to show you what the fuck come up. I'm going to show you what cards. And you all can deduce from that what you want. The King of Pentacles that I keep referring to, I think now in probably at least 15 to 20 fucking videos, that's always behind your emperor in reverse. Your King of Pentacles is a cop. The final outcome for your king of pentacles in this situation, the sun, the seven of cups, and the knight of swords in reverse. They can't communicate right now. But look at those two beautiful cards. Your king of pentacles is healing from a situation. Ten of pentacles in reverse, work, love, life. This person is wounded. They're going to come to you a little wounded. For some of you, maybe it is going to be an, an arm in the sling. For some of you, it's just this person took a fucking beating. Work, love, life. But your person is very spiritual. They could have a religious base, but they are at least spiritual. They believe in a higher authority. And they definitely believe in uh, authority here on earth. Judgment as above, so below. And your king of pentacles knows that your emperor is the fucking devil. The emperor in reverse, that devilish emperor in reverse, whatever the hell they were trying to do to hold on to a certain situation, person, place, or thing, oh, that shit ain't working. That emperor in reverse is going to be a victim of their own fuckery. Because you know why? The problem with the emperor in reverse. The emperor in reverse is someone who has absolutely no uh, clout. You know, the emperor is someone in charge, right? The emperor in reverse is someone who has no power or authority. Your emperor in reverse doesn't know when to shut the fuck up. And through their braggery, through their talking... They enlightened the wrong person. Because I'm telling you, this King of Pentacles energy, they're a good guy. They will fight for your honor. Like a knight in shining armor from a long time ago. Yeah. This person is going to show up like a knight in shining armor. It's going to be a fucking fairy tale. I want you to think practical magic. Okay? Just think practical magic. You, my friend, this would be your outcome. The truth coming out in a situation. You see them six. Well, here it's like eight. Them little like tears. Whatever the hell was taken from you, you're going to get back. But look at this. 
You get the sun card too. You and your king of pentacles both receive the happiest card in the deck. And you get victory in the end. Six. Double sixes. Happiness. I'm dealing with the toxic energy. Dealing with a toxic energy. There's an ash all over the fucking place. For a lot of you, your emperor in reverse was uh, your best friend. Because <laughs> they did not know when to shut the fuck up. So, like I said, 50. That's going to be for 50 people. Uh, I think now we're up to like 31,400 subscribers. So that's a very small number in the grand scheme of things. But that is a beautiful fucking energy. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. Oh, guys. How we fucking doing? That reading was beautiful. Obviously, you all weren't meant to hear the whole thing. But we did give you a quick synopsis of shit, okay? That's going to be for 50 fucking people. I'm telling you, 50 fucking people. That's going to be your story. And you are not going to see this shit coming. Oh, spirit, what you got for my collection? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful fucking collective, but baby. Ooh, you feel a little tired, a little weak? You need to take care of yourself. Drink plenty of water, get out in nature. Yeah. Uh, you need to strengthen yourself up, because you get ready to hop on that horse and take a victory round, okay? So this tells me you've been through some fucking shit, and you're feeling a little defeated, you're feeling a little down, you're feeling a little kicked in the gut, right? Sucker punch, bitch slapped, you've been through it all, but you're like, oh, daddy, you have no idea. You have no fucking idea. But you know what? you still the queen of pentacles here. Justice on your behalf. Happiness coming in. Y'all can't make this shit up. Y'all are getting ready to see a resolution in your situation, okay? You stand in your strength and your power, because what is yours is definitely going to be protected, right? Because looky here again, collective. The sun, six of pentacles, and the truth. Justice, balance, everything coming to be. So do the healing that you need to do, because you've been beat down for a reason. But honey, I am telling you, get ready to take that motherfucking victory lap. Some of you are not even going to see this coming. It's going to hit you at maybe a weak point in your life. Temperance with the Knight of Swords, yeah. I'm wanting to say on this, with this Knight of Swords energy, uh, listen, maybe listen to some chakra clearing, some ringing bells, the, the singing bowls, something along that line. Uh, use a maybe guided meditation. Those of you that like that type of energy, maybe Reiki music. Uh, get, yeah, it's like uh, use use some sound to uh, to help in your healing process. Maybe while you're out in nature, put on you know uh, some music that you like because that's gonna help you. Or maybe that's just daddy's bitch ass saying, you better heal yourself, honey, so you look good for your victory lap, right? We don't want no bags under them motherfucking eyes, right? You taking the victory walk, we want your bitch ass looking good, right? We want your bitch ass looking good. Hair, skin, nails, everything on point. And y'all, for the first time, I just noticed that V earring that bitch has got on, right? You taking your victory lap. You taking your victory lap.
Really, Kitty? You got something to say? You got something to say? Okay, Spirit, what else we got? We got some positive energy, guys. I'm telling you, if you're feeling a little weak and defeated, uh, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Uh, if you're feeling the need to get your nails done, get your fucking nails done. You need to get your hair done, get your fucking hair done. If you're looking a little tired and nappy, get your shit fucking taken care of. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You're going to be taking that fucking victory lap. So you better make sure your ass looks good. Kitty, I love you, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kitty's in the house and Jackie's outside. It's a good thing. Y'all know Daddy reads on an empty stomach. So ain't none of us bitches been fed up in here. That's why Kitty's like, bitch, feed me. And he's just looking at me like, you need to fucking stop and, and, and feed me. Because I'm going to cut you in your sleep if you don't. You'll get booed in a minute. Good Lord, you ain't starving. Like, what'd you eat? Like, five hours ago? Two of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the World. Yeah, some of you all are getting a new start. Uh, some of them may be feeling a little trapped, a little stuck. Feeling like they are uh, unable to move forward, unable to get any new gains. Uh, this is just a temporary. Remember... Uh, if you're feeling like that strength in reverse energy, right? You might feel a little defleted, a little, a little defleted, a little defeated, a little deflated, a little, you know, uh, get out of that energy. Now, for some of you, this could be someone around you, right? If you uh, silence on somebody, they don't know how the hell to approach you, right? If you cut somebody out, they don't know how the fuck to approach you. Right now, they're probably a little afraid to, right? Because it's like when you go quiet, they know they better just leave you the fuck alone. Correct? You're like, don't fuck with me. And they know that. When you go silent, leave you the fuck alone. When you're ready to talk, you're going to come out of your silence, right? And some of you are manifesting a beautiful new fucking world. You've been working on it for a while. You've been working on it. You know what I say? Spirit rewards those who are proactive, right? Shit just ain't gonna fall into your lap if you ain't working it and, and allowing yourself to be in the perfect place and time for opportunities to happen. Yeah, trust in the universe, putting in the work that you needed to do. And you manifested this. You manifested this stability in your life. Standing in your Empress energy. Because the Empress energy creates... Right? So my masculines, this is about creating something. Giving birth to an idea, a new project, and seeing it through to fruition. So the Empress card is really good. Because that's about the creativity part. That's about nurturing and caring and giving whatever the fuck you're doing the time and attention that it needs. The magician. Spirits like you had all the tools you needed right in front of you. And my child... You worked very well with what the fuck you were given, right? Think of like an art class. Teacher says, okay, this is what you have to work with. Go. Spirit's like, hey, you did a hell of a fucking job. <laughs> some of you expect communication. The fool, Yeah, some of y'all expect some communication because someone's going to do something foolish. You know, with this Three of Cups energy, I'm, I, I, yo, someone... Be careful, don't be drinking and driving. Don't be drinking and driving. Uh, someone, maybe a third party situation, someone's going to feel like a fucking fool. Anyway, you're going to hear some shit, okay? You're going to hear about some shit going down. A lot of you going to be seeing that shit, right? Some of you knew this shit was going to go down with the hermit in reverse and the hang one. You do it was just a matter of time. Because it's like spirits say, give, give someone enough rope and they go hang themselves. Some of y'all just been waiting, right? You've been waiting. You've been waiting to get that notification pop up, right? Because someone is definitely stuck and trapped and unable to come towards you. You have just shut a bitch down and they know. When you go quiet, leave me the fuck alone. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Whew, 
That's just the bottom of the deck. Y'all got some... En- of course y'all got some energy going on. The fucking Empress and the Nine of Pentacles working on yourself. Emperor in reverse, guys. What did I say? What, what did we say about this person? That's going to be uh, someone getting caught up in their foolish pull, pull, third party shit, right? You knew it was only going to be a matter of time for someone did something stupid. Yeah, you're going to be hearing about that shit. Uh, so we ain't spending too much time on that emperor in reverse. That little bitch. Page of Wands. The new start. The fresh new start. This is the fresh new start. So some of you are going to be, you're already established in one area, right? You are like established in your life. And you see, she's over here looking at these situations, right? She's over here looking at this situation. So for some of you, uh, you know, maybe you're emperor. Some of you, maybe they like them a little young, right? Some shit's going to catch up with somebody. Whatever the hell's going to go down, you're going you're gonna to be seeing it all go down. You're going to be seeing it all going down. Now, for some of you, I'm kind of getting the idea like this is like, you're looking at your past and what this emperor did to you. How you started kind of young, naive, and stupid. You just had that one little start. But look at what the fuck you turned that one little start into. You see that? You took that one little bit of growth, that one little fucking wand right there and was able to turn it in that beautiful lush garden of ever abundance Kenny I love you dude come on all because of this emperor in reverse you're going to thank this person at the end of the day some of you that thought this person was going to be the one uh uh this person's going to facilitate you meeting the perfect one you're going to be thanking this person one of these days I don't even want to fucking hear it. I'm telling you. You're going to be like, thank you. You changed my fucking life. So it's going to be like, thank you for being the dick that you are. Because <laughs> if you had it, if you had it, my life would not be the way it is. Uh, strength and reverse, the tower, and the nine of wands. Yeah. And that falls under the emperor. You're going to see all this shit happen. Your emperor being the little bitch playing the fucking victim is going to bring their own fucking tower. This person does it to themselves. They're going to be a victim of themselves. Some of you bitches gonna be watching this shit go down. Some of you know it's just a matter of time, right? You just waiting. You just waiting till the shit hits the news, right? You're like, oh, I know that shit, daddy. I know that shit. We've been waiting on that for a hot minute. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You ready for that knight in shining armor to show up? Kitty, what the hell are you down there looking at? What you looking at, little buddy? And I'm looking at you, wondering why the hell you ain't fed my bitch ass. Wondering what the hell you're doing. Oh, his eyes are so green today. Your eyes are so green today, buddy. Does someone have a black cat with blue eyes? Because I'm sitting here looking at him thinking, boy, you'd be pretty if you had blue eyes. Black cat with blue eyes, is that a thing? Eight of Cups. Walking away to find your wish fulfillment. Or this could be someone walking away towards you to find their wish fulfillment. Yeah, someone's walking away from a fucking relationship. They spent too much fucking time in. They're like, nah, fuck it. I'm moving away from that and finding my own happiness. Yeah, court decision. This is a divorce. A divorce has taken place. But I don't think this person is really... They're not too distraught about it. They're like, well, here we go, right? We're done with that shit. I'll leave them eight cups. That's okay. I'm going to go and search and get my nine. I'm going to fill my own fucking cup. Page of Wands. That new start. So for some of you, this is the person coming towards you. This is the person that's going to be that new Page of Wands energy. 
This is what they're coming from. They're coming from a shitty fucking relationship. They're coming from a shitty breakup. They're going after their own wish fulfillment. That's when they show up in your life as a page. Remember, not every emperor is going to come in. Right? Even if that knight in shining armor comes in, you still got to start at the beginning to build a foundation. It's going to happen, guys. 50 of you. I heard 50. 50. But I'm standing by that fucking number. Which isn't a lot. What, what 31,400 motherfuckers in this bitch? That's not a whole lot. Yeah, y'all are definitely going to be hearing about something. Seeing something online. Someone being foolish and given to a situation that was just toxic as fuck. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Uh, communication about family. Some of y'all a family member. Be careful. Maybe a family member. Oh, no. No, not like that kind of, oh, no. Maybe someone could be dealing with CPS. Someone could have a child taken away. And I only say that because I'm drawn to the fact that the child in this picture is dark-skinned and the child in that picture is dark-skinned. So if someone was dealing with a, um, a child with a darker complexion. Oh, let's hope not, Spirit. Unless they need to be removed from a situation. Yeah, so this could be uh, this could be a CPS issue or something, folks. So if there's a child involved in a situation... Uh, yeah. There could be, like, authority show up on this person's behalf. For some, it could be authorities coming in to maybe help people out. Because we get the everything is fine in the Ten of Wands card. Someone's acting like everything's okay, but that burden is going to be lifted. So for some of you, if you've been waiting on some kind of financial assistance through the government system, or maybe even through a divorce, you're gonna I think you're gonna have some positive news coming up. I'm not wanting to say if you had problems with your like food stamp card or something. They they call it SNAP here in Indiana. I don't know what they call it elsewhere. And you've been trying to make things go, and maybe you you know, somewhere or another you got knocked off the system and you've been waiting to get put back on. Just have faith, it's going to happen. Now, there's definitely going to be a situation where someone's going to be feeling like a jackass. Ooh, the fool, the three of cups, and the six of pentacles given to the wrong fucking thing. Some, some of y'all now, someone could be caught out at a fucking strip club, right? Uh, and someone find out they've been giving a bunch of money to some fucking strippers. I don't know if they're open, but I'm sure somewhere there's some bootleg strip clubs open, right? Some could be out drinking and partying and spend too much. So if you're going out partying and drinking, don't spend too much fucking money, right? Bitch, you ass don't need top shelf because you know you're going to be throwing that shit up by the end of the night, okay? So just calm your fucking ass down. Buy the little cheap shit because you know full damn well you're going to be throwing that shit up by the end of the fucking night. Don't be trying to front with your friends. They know you broke ass. They know you broke ass. Because these are the same friends that's going to be like, Oh, oh, you were hitting it up at the bar buying the good shit. Now you want to hit us up for some money. Mm-hmm. Bitch, buy the cheap shit. Because you know you're going to be throwing that shit up. Because you know you can't handle the shit. Communication. Someone, a family member could be communicating with you or coming in for a visit. Some of you, this could be a grandchild. Uh, for some of you, it could be an, uh, an elderly parent, and they might have, like, a service dog. For some of you, you might have to find out you're going to have to put an older relative in a nursing home, and you might be checking facilities out. This person might have been living with you, this older elderly person, and this person could even be blind. You could be dealing with someone with uh, with, with the glaucomas or blindness, and yeah, because the dog would be the C and I dog. Um, now that could even be regardless of age. 
And maybe you're taking them to like the uh, school for the blind so they can learn to uh, train. Yeah, ain't that how they do it when they train them with the dogs? Because I know they have to spend time with the dogs. You're definitely dealing with someone who's sight impaired. And they're going to be getting a dog. And you might have to be taking them to a facility to look at the dog. How, I know there's a process. I know there's a, a lengthy, expensive process. So some of y'all, yeah, someone could be getting a service dog. Or someone could be going into a nursing home. Either way, I think it's to the benefit of the person that needs it, right? Because if you got a... This woman's got a baby at home, right? she got a baby and then dealing with an elderly person... Now, if you're dealing with someone with Alzheimer's, you know, you got to watch them about as much as you got to watch that kid. You don't want them wandering off and shit. You know what I mean? And someone, it just may be too much of a burden. So someone may be flying in to help you, or you may be uh, traveling to a facility. Some of you could just be paying someone a visit in like a hospital or institution. Some of you, it could even be rehab. They try to make me go to rehab, and I said no, no, no. Yeah, you said no, no, no to your bitch ass got all fucking drunk and shit. Got your ass busted, right? And cost you some fucking money. And maybe, maybe mommy and daddy's a little tired of spending out all that fucking money when you go out and show your fucking drunk ass. Okay, let's be honest, girl. Let's be honest, girl. So they gonna take your ass to rehab. You all got some shit going on, okay? What the hell? The devil, ten of, ten of wands and the six of cups with the ace of wands. Eleven. Eleven, but I'm seeing ace of wands, the knight of wands, and this page of wands. One, one, one. Someone's going to want a new start. They're going to want a new start, okay? I, uh, whether you decide to give this person one or not, uh, that's going to be up to you. This is going to be a person from the past. So it could be family or love. I think you two were two opposites before in the past. You know, you were more kind of a sedentary... How do I want to put this? You were a little more calmer. And this person was a little bit more, oh, I, I need to go this way. I need to go this way. It was like a difference in energies. But maybe for some reason or another, you two are going to come together to work on something. Yeah, it could even be like a project. You both have two very different styles when it comes to working on a project. Uh, you know, one is more kind of quick-witted and fast with how they come up. And, you know, they like to work fast. Their, their train of thought and the way they... Uh, like if they're doing a, a storyboard or something, it's completely different from yours. But you two are probably going to have to work together and come up with something. And believe it or not, it's actually going to happen. It's good. You're going to be able to work together with this person. Your yin and their yang is going to turn into something that's going to be fucking brilliant. Okay? Now, for some of you, this could be a business partnership. Hell, maybe it's just a work relationship. I don't fucking know. But look at that. One, one, one. New beginning. And some of you may think it's absolutely going to be impossible. Or maybe you two are both on a separate path and something's going to bring you two together to work together, right? This is going to be that new beginning. It's like you're both in the same area. You're both doing about the same thing, but you're both like in two separate fucking thought processes. Some of y'all could be finding out a friend is sick or finding out that a friend uh, had an incident. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say this this friend could have actually been like stabbed. I don't think stabbed to death, but you could have been uh, hearing or finding out about uh, a person that has been stabbed. Uh, maybe you know, this, this situation was definitely fucked up and you know they were able to call for help in time. Uh, I don't think this person passed, but I think, you know, they, they have a fucking story. They went through some shit. Some older woman is definitely checking out something online. She's trying to relive her younger days. So if you're an older person, 
Now, Daddy considers myself an older person. Uh, notice her foot. I've drawn to her foot like she's uh, in ballet class. So some of you may be thinking about starting up something new, right? If you were a dancer, you enjoyed dancing when you were younger, you might be looking or watching videos on that. Or maybe looking into classes. You could be a retired uh, uh, dance instructor, right? Or a retired dancer. Yeah, oh my God, it's the first time I've noticed that star on there. Yeah, you used to be like maybe a star ballerina. You used to be the shit back in the day. Not used to be, you know what I mean. You knew your shit. You were a star. Oh, for some of you, maybe a star is watching what the fuck you're doing and you don't realize it, right? Their cloak. The cloak and dagger behind what the fuck you're doing. Uh-oh. You know, online, you never know who the fuck is watching. You never know who the fuck is watching. And maybe this person just keeps going back. They're like, they, they get transfixed on something and they're like what maybe they're like us when it comes to a reader they're like what how the fuck does this motherfucker know what's going on you know what i mean but this could actually be someone who who is a star i i want to say was because i'm drawn to the fact she's got that foot out someone's like planning to to do something new and they're like get they're getting they're getting in that energy again. They remember when they were taking center stage before. You know what? When they were getting warmed up. They remember the adrenaline rush, the feel they get before they walk on stage to do whatever performance they're doing. They could be watching past performances of themselves, right? Critiquing what the hell they've done. If this is you and you're watching, you still hold some clout. You might not be out, and you might be, you know, why am I thinking like Debbie Allen? The Debbie Allen, the uh, choreographer, F Felicia Rashad's uh, sister, that did a lot of the choreography and shit. You were like the shit, but you were more in the background. But you still have some prominence, right? You still turn heads when you walk in the room. Mad respect. I'm thinking... Alvin Ailey. Now, this is a dancer. Woo. Oh, why am I wanting to tear up? Spirit, why am I crying? Why am I crying? The Empress? The Magician? Oh! You're getting work. Someone is getting work. Oh my God. You're getting a whole new start. You're getting a whole new start. It's going to be a leading role too. Someone could have wrote it especially for you. Woo. Give me a minute. I got to collect myself on this. Oh my God. <laughs> it is going to work so perfectly for you. It's going to be that whole new start. The world's going to open. Uh, and I don't mean this in a negative way, but you were famous before the internet, right? You had your fame when people actually had to see you live. You are getting the opportunity. And it is, it is like absolutely tailor-made for you to stand in your fucking power. Woo! Oh my God. I don't know who the fuck you are, but I'm happy for you. Oh my God. Oh. I, I know if this is you, you're not going to tag nobody because you don't want no one to know. But honey, mm, if you're thinking about that role or you're thinking about that position... You need to fucking take it. 
Because that's going to be... You're going to be back... You're going to be back in your fucking power. This was meant for you. This was created just for you. To get your comeback. I hate that word. It's a return. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Spirit, what the fuck? 